Hey guys, Tony, let me ask you a question. If you had to choose your own death penalty, which one would you go for? Don't worry, it's just hypothetical. Because in today's video, we're going to talk about all the different ways that countries carry out executions. That includes shooting, hanging, electric chairs, lethal injections, gas chambers, stoning, and even beheading. Yes, you heard right. The good old medieval guillotine is still in use somewhere. Watch the full video to learn more. Let's get started. So, let's start with shooting. It's a classic form of capital punishment that is still popular and used in many places around the world. There are two main methods. First, the condemned is shot in the chest and the head from a medium distance by a firing squad. Second, a single shooter targets the back of the head at close range. This usually goes down in a special enclosed room. Here's an interesting fact. In most countries, the execution is free, but in some states, the executed person's family has to pay a so-called bullet fee if they want to claim the body. Shooting is a method of execution currently used in countries like China, Somalia, Taiwan, North Korea, Yemen, and more. The only country in Europe that still uses the death penalty is Belarus, and they use shooting. In the US, only Idaho and Utah keep shooting as a backup method of execution. In Russia, it's the only form of capital punishment, but they haven't used it since 1996 due to a moratorium. Next up, hanging. It's the second most common method. The modern version involves hanging the condemned with a rope around their neck. They die from the pressure of the rope on the body because of gravity. Loss of consciousness occurs in a few seconds, and biological death caused by brain stem damage happens in a few minutes. Hanging can take someone out in a variety of ways. Asphyxia, which is suffocation from blocked airways, compression of the carotid arteries and jugular veins, brain swelling from a sudden increase in intracranial pressure, reflex cardiac arrest from squeezing the vagus nerve, suffocation from the tongue blocking the throat, and of course, cervical spine fractures. Since the late 19th century, many countries have employed a specific method of hanging for the death penalty, in which the condemned person does not simply lose support and hang from a rope, but instead falls from a great height through a hatch. This type of hanging results in almost instantaneous death due to the rupture of the cervical vertebrae and spinal cord, rather than death by asphyxiation after several minutes. Currently, hanging remains the sole method of execution in the legal systems of 50 countries, including Afghanistan, Botswana, Egypt, Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Singapore, Sudan, South Sudan, and others. The electric chair, a device designed to deliver a high-voltage alternating electric current to the body of a condemned prisoner, was invented in the United States in the 19th century. More modern models appeared in the 1960s. It was originally introduced as a humane method of execution designed to minimize suffering. Proponents of the electric chair argue that it is painless. They claim that the electric current, when applied with specific parameters, can destroy the parts of the nervous system responsible for pain perception in a matter of seconds, 20 times faster than a person can experience pain. However, opponents of the electric chair dispute these claims pointing out that they are based on theoretical calculations rather than proven facts. Well, yeah, I wonder how could anyone possibly verify such claims? In recent decades, the use of the electric chair has declined significantly as other methods of execution have taken its place. It is currently used in only five states in the United States, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Kentucky, and Tennessee. The Lethal Injection a more modern method of execution involves injecting a solution of poisons or powerful substances into the body. It became widely used in the 1980s and is often considered a more humane method of execution compared to others. Typically, three different drugs are administered to the condemned in sequence. Sodium theopental, a cheap anesthetic, pancuronium bromide, which paralyzes the muscles, and potassium chloride, which induces cardiac arrest. Critics of the lethal injection, however, argue that it may only create the appearance of a humane death but may not actually be humane. They claim that after the administration of the muscle-paralyzing drug, the condemned may be unable to express their pain, 
raising concerns about the actual experience. In addition, there are rumors of drug dosage violations, but no concrete evidence has been provided and these remain mere rumors. Lethal injection is currently used in several countries, including Vietnam, China, and Thailand as well as in 37 of the 38 states in the United States that allow the death penalty. All right, let's keep going. Hey, Tony, come on in and close the door behind you. Mwahahaha. That's how we got you to the gas chamber. It's a room designed to kill people by poisoning them with deadly gases. This method was invented in Nevada, US back in 1921. The room is small with a glass ceiling so that the execution can be watched. The condemned person is tied to a chair and the gas is released through special pipes. It takes about nine minutes for the person to lose consciousness and die. This method has been heavily criticized for being downright excruciating. Death often wasn't immediate, as in the case of Donald Harding, who was condemned for killing two people and took a whopping 11 minutes to die. To speed up the process, condemned prisoners were told to take deep breaths essentially taking an active part in their own execution, which many found unethical. All of this backlash led to the gas chamber falling out of use in most states in the US, though it's still allowed in Arizona, Missouri, and California. All right, Tony, come back in. I was just messing with you. After all, we have a guillotine ready. We got some good old beheading coming up. Basically, it's when they separate someone's head from their body, either with a guillotine or other cutting tools like an axe, sword, or knife. Beheading has been the preferred method of execution for thousands of years. Back in medieval Europe, they'd cut off the heads of criminals and even heads of state and put them on display for the public to see. This type of execution requires the executioner to aim a sharp blade at the spinal cord to make sure the shock knocks the person out instantly. Brain death occurs within minutes after the head is separated from the body. Stories about the head looking at the executioner, recognizing names, and even trying to speak are simply exaggerations. Neurophysiology shows that these are just residual reflexes and normal eye reactions to light, not conscious actions of a severed head. Nowadays, beheading is officially used only in Saudi Arabia, but there are reports of it happening in other countries like the United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and Iraq. Finally, let's talk about stoning or lapidation. This ancient method of capital punishment has been used in many countries throughout history. It was common in Jewish and Islamic law, and some Muslim countries still use it today. This brutal form of punishment involves tying the condemned person to a post and then having a group of people throw stones at them until they die. The cause of death in stoning is typically brain damage, as the stones used are small enough to avoid breaking bones. A person is able to receive severe blows without losing consciousness, making it a slow and agonizing execution. Currently, stoning is officially used as a form of capital punishment in countries such as Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, Sudan, and Nigeria. So there you have it, folks. What do you think about capital punishment? Should it be banned worldwide or not? Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And be sure to check out more of Super Tony's videos. Bye-bye!